Silver created the greatest transfer of wealth in history to date. Rory Hall The past few days I have been reminded of how important silver is to our world, and how silver is the one asset the world needs in order to function to a high level. Actually, silver is necessary for our world to function at even the most basic level, where power slash energy slash information is running through wires. Silver makes it possible, with all these Western nations, basically, invading, destroying China were about silver. China was importing all the world's silver even though they had no natural mines they owned 25% of the world's silver. England had massive trade deficits with them. When England couldn't balance it back, because the Chinese didn't he want the British finished goods they, Britain, imported opium into their and destroyed China. Which led to the rise of Mao and communism, and all this other stuff. Tilda Chris Duane, the daily coin sitting, down with Chris Duane, silver shields change and mini mintage, is always an interesting ride. His passion runs so deep it becomes a challenge to keep his feet on the ground, so why not just let him run? The illusions of wealth that are the cryptocurrencies are going to begin working their way out of my conversations. I don't trust them, I have documented the dangers they represent as a tool of the banking cabal and a tool of enslavement. The banks are working on their own version that will supersede any and all privately issued cryptocurrencies, and the private issued cryptos will be outlawed and taxed into oblivion. This is not a conversation that I wish to participate as it seems to be more productive to discuss how to move our community forward and protect our families and our wealth. If we look back in history we can see the importance of silver in the monetary world. The two most populous nations in the history of the world were stripped of their silver and forced onto the play nation of the western world fiat currency Ponzi scheme. This enslavement, after more than 150 years, is coming to an end. China and India are rapidly moving back onto solid ground, financially, and economically. It is only a matter of time, before both of these nations are driving the global economy, as they did prior to the opium wars, and being completely stripped of their silver. It was silver, not gold, that drove the economy, and created massive growth within nations. With the mining industry being stagnant for the past five to six years the capital inflows will take another year to begin fueling the fire necessary to serial movement in the mining industry. Add another four to five years or longer to bring enough of these new mines to full production and the supplies of silver and gold could very quickly tighten forcing both metals to begin posting higher benchmarks to meet the demand within limited supply chains. Will this happen? Only time will tell whether the banking cabal escrip on the precious metals market can be broken. We believe it is already breaking down. We believe the rise of the Eastern nations will continue forcing the hand the Western developed nations that have only been able to react to the moves being made by the Eastern emerging nations. The Eastern nations are putting all the new technology to work. You can see it in the airports, train stations, roadways, and every aspect that touches the lives of the citizens of these nations that have embraced the 21 at century. The Western nations are still relying on 1950s airports, train stations, roadways and other technologies that touch the lives of their citizens. Look around and tell me that I am wrong. YT comment, I don't care what name you put on it, cryptocurrency slash dollar slash yuan slash etc. and how you spin it. It is still a debt-based system. Until you back it up with tangible assets, 
like silver, where people and governments would have to stay within their budgets because of the silver they hold for true silver crypto is. Gold would back the silver. Silver is a vital element. Stacking physical silver should be a no-brainer for anyone that has a basic understanding of what is happening in our world today. Cryptocurrencies are not tangible and have no value to any economy or monetary system. They literally have no value. Replacing one illusion of wealth with another changes nothing and benefits no one. Silver, tangible wealth with intrinsic value, replaces illusions of wealth with real wealth. The greatest wealth transfer in history is happening right now and will surpass the wealth transfer created during the opium wars. It is not in the future. As a matter of fact it was noted last year on January 15, 2017, that we learned the world's eight richest people have same wealth as poorest 50%. That's not tomorrow, that's yesterday. The world's eight richest billionaires control the same wealth between them as the poorest half of the globe's population, according to a charity warning of an ever-increasing and dangerous concentration of wealth. In a report published to coincide with the start of the week-long World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, Oxfam said it was beyond grotesque that a handful of rich men headed by the Microsoft founder Bill Gates are worth $426 BN, 350BN, equivalent to the wealth of 3.6 billion people. Source protect yourself, realistically, and do it today. The transfer of wealth never sleeps. You do what is best for you and your family. We are stacking a few ounces of silver and little gold when our budget allows. We see this as being one of the best, most proven ways to protect our wealth from tri-evil. Jack Chan's indicators signal higher gold and silver prices in both the immediate and long terms. All of Jack's indicators are up this week including his own proprietary indicator. He rests the details by Jack Chan by a streetwise report. Our proprietary cycle indicator is up. The gold sector is on a long-term buy signal. Long-term signals can last for months and years and are more suitable for investors holding for long-term. The gold sector is on a short-term buy signal. Short-term signals can last for days and weeks, and are more suitable for traders. Speculation is in bull market values. The breakdown on USD this week is supportive to overall higher metal prices in coming weeks. Silver is on a long-term buy signal. SLV is on a short-term buy signal, and short-term signals can last for days to weeks more suitable for traders. Speculative longs are bouncing back sharply from the lowest level in years. Summary The precious metals sector is on major buy signal. The cycle is up, suggesting that the multi-month correction is now complete. Cut data is supportive for overall higher metal prices. We are holding gold-related ETFs for long-term gain. Jack Chan is the editor of Simply Profits at www.simplyprofits.org. Established in 2006, Chan bought his first mining stock, Hoko Exploration, in 1979, and has been active in the markets for the past 37 years. Technical analysis has helped him filter out the noise and focus on the win and leave the white of the fundamental analysts. His proprietary trading models have enabled him to identify the NASDAQ top in 2000, the new gold bull market in 2001, the stock market top in 2007, and the US dollar bottom in 2011.
England had massive trade deficits with them. When England couldn't e balance it back, because the Chinese didn't e want the British finished goods they, Britain, imported opium into their and destroyed China. Which led to the rise of Mao and communism, and all this other stuff. Tilda Chris Duane, The Daily Coin Sitting, Down with Chris Duane, Silver Shield Xiang and Mini Mintage, is always an interesting ride. His passion runs so deep it becomes a challenge to keep his feet on the ground, so why not just let him run? The illusions of wealth that are the cryptocurrencies are going to begin working their way out of my conversations. I don't trust them, I have documented the danger. Silver created the greatest transfer of wealth in history to date. Rory Hall The past few days I have been reminded of how important silver is to our world, and how silver is the one asset the world needs in order to function to a high level. Actually, silver is necessary for our world to function at even the most basic level, where power slash energy slash information is running through wires. Silver makes it possible, with all these Western nations, basically, invading, destroying China or about silver. China was importing all the world's silver even though they had no natural mines they owned 25% of the world's silver. The mines to full production, and the supplies of silver and gold could very quickly tighten forcing both metals, to begin posting higher benchmarks to meet the demand within limited supply chains. Will this happen? Only time will tell whether the banking cabal escrip on the precious metals market can be broken. We believe it is already breaking down. We believe the rise of the Eastern nations will continue forcing the hand the Western developed nations that have only been able to react to the moves being made by the Eastern emerging nations. The Eastern nations are putting all the new technology to work. You can see it in the airports, train stations, roadways, and every aspect that touches the livers they represent as a tool of the banking cabal and a tool of enslavement. The banks are working on their own version that will supersede any and all privately issued cryptocurrencies and the private issued cryptos will be outlawed and taxed into oblivion. This is not a conversation that I wish to participate as it seems to be more productive to discuss how to move our community forward and protect our families and our wealth. If we look back in history we can see the importance of silver in the monetary world. The two most populous nations in the history of the world were stripped of their silver and forced onto the play nation of the Western world fiat currency Ponzi scheme. This enslavement, after more than 150 years, is coming to an end. China and India are rapidly moving back onto solid ground, financially and economically. It is only a matter of time before both of these nations are driving the global economy as they did prior to the opium wars and being completely stripped of their silver. It was silver, not gold, that drove the economy and created massive growth within nations. With the mining industry being stagnant for the past five to six years the capital inflows will take another year to begin fueling the fire necessary to serial movement in the mining industry. Add another four to five years, or longer, to bring enough of these 